Feliz Mayo! Happy May! This is Stephanie from Apex Languages and today we're going to shift our focus from Spanish vocabulary to a little more grammar. You have a lot of words now to talk about people, but what about the verbs to describe what they're doing? In this episode, we'll review our old friends the AR verbs and meet their cousins the ER verbs. But first, you know I have a soft spot for review. Last week, I introduced some of the profesiones, the careers, starting with teacher. I've also got a soft spot for teachers, uh, but it's good in an, a learning environment like this, good vocabulary. So how do you say teacher? Well, maestro, maestra, if you're talking about public school, and elementary, uh, high school, etc. And in college, you've got profesor or profesora, professor, right? Um, then as far as the student, estudiante, okay, student with an E in front of it. Uh, I also taught you the verb enseñar, which uh, can mean to teach. So we have the sentence, la profesora enseña al estudiante. Remember, uh, la profesora is she, ella, and so you need to use the third person singular version of the verb enseñar. So enseña just ends in an A. I did uh, briefly mention that enseñar can also mean to show. So it means to teach and also to show, like to demonstrate. Okay. So you can also have a sentence like this. El estudiante lo enseña a la profesora. Lo means it. So um, lo for masculine things, la for feminine things. The student shows it to the professor. Okay. Um, we're going to focus on the teaching one, but keep it in the back of your mind that this word has two different meanings. So I'll, I'll say that one more time. El estudiante lo enseña a la profesora. Keeping in line with the teaching uh, meaning, let me give you one more example to show you the verb used a different way. Los profesores enseñan a los estudiantes. Okay, so here, los profesores, they, now I need to use third person plural, and so enseñar has an A-N at the end. Los profesores enseñan a los estudiantes. The other group of uh, professionals that I introduced you to were the, the medical team, the doctors, etc. So we had doctor, el doctor, la doctora, o el médico, la médica. We're going to stick with doctor, right? Doctor, that's a little simpler to remember. Okay. Uh, then you had the nurse. El enfermero, la enfermera. Finally, el paciente, la paciente. Patient. Okay, not too hard, not too hard. Remember, enfermo means sick. So do doctor, paciente, those are easy. Enfermero is easier to remember if you remember enfermero is sick. Estoy enfermo, or I would say estoy enferma because I'm a, a woman, right? Uh, you would use a st estoy because it's a temporary situation, okay? Hopefully I'm not sick forever. So estoy enfermo or estoy enferma means I am sick. The verb I taught you for the doctor is ayudar, to help. And I gave you the sentence, la doctora ayuda al paciente. Again, she helps, so that's third person singular, ayuda with an A. But if we make it plural, los enfermeros ayudan a los médicos. Again, I have the A-N to be third person plural. So let's put all these AR verbs together and just look at them in one big chart. There's a definitive pattern here, okay? Yo, so first person, I, uh, those words end in O. Remember, a star's a little weird, but even so, it, it mainly follows the pattern, okay? So we got estoy, trabajo, enseño, ayudo. Usted, that's the formal you, follows the same pattern as third person singular. Again, there's a second person form, 
okay, the informal U2, but we have, we're not really covering it yet. We will at some point, but just I want to minimize what you have to memorize for the moment, okay? So usted, just even though it's you, think of it as a he, she, it follows that kind of pattern, it, okay? So usted está, trabaja, enseña, ayuda. And, and again, it's that same A. It just ends in an A. So basically, you take the R off, and it, that's your verb. Okay? Esta trabaja, enseña, ayuda. That's el, ella, usted. For the third person plural, you, it's A plus an N. All right? So, están, trabajan, enseñan, ayudan. Uh... Right now, you just have to remember these three forms. So, O for I, A for he, she, it, you, and then AN for y'all and they. All right? We've also seen the verb ser, and this one is super weird. Just like to be is super weird in English. You know, it's, it's the most common word that you use. So the more, the more common a word is, the more likely uh, it's going to be weird. It's going to be irregular. Uh, you can see these two here uh, together. We got soy, es, and son. Ser is technically an ER verb. But I don't want to show you that pattern because it's just, again, weird. Okay? Now, AR verbs are super common. ER verbs are very commonly irregular. <laughs> Yay! Um, so over the next couple of weeks, I'll introduce you to uh, a bunch of ER verbs, and you're gonna you're more likely to find irregular ones in this group. It's a slightly smaller group than the AR ones, and it's got problems, <laughs> but don't don't be too worried about it. Um, I'm going to introduce you to two regular ER verbs now so that you can just see what the pattern is and not be totally scared. <laughs> OK, so deep breath. Everything's all right. Back to my teacher, we have the verb leer. Okay, leer means to read. So, yo leo, usted lee, él lee, ella lee, ellos leen. Okay, L leer isn't a perfect option because you do have that those those two e's next to each other. Okay, remember. Every letter gets pronounced in Spanish. So it's not le, it's le, le. You want to kind of hear both of those E's, leen, okay? So um, uh, let's just practice that one more time. Le, usted le, el le, ella le, ustedes leen, ellos leen. It's a little easy when you put the N there. And of course, you're Leo. Okay? So, that's to read. El estudiante lee la palabra. Palabra. I'm going to give you one new vocabulary item this week. It's palabra. La palabra is word. That's a useful word because we're learning lots of words. Um, palabra nueva is a new word. So, in this sentence, el estudiante lee La palabra, the student, reads the word. Uh, a quick note on Spanish. Um, the present progressive that we normally use in English is an exception among, uh, uh, it's very rare among languages around the world to depend so much on I am reading. Okay, most languages prefer just a simple present. It makes sense. English is weird. Okay, so keep in mind, they do have a present progressive. You can say estoy leyendo, um, but you're much more likely to see just a simple present. So you could translate this as either el estudiante, uh, you know, the student reads the word or the student is reading the word. Okay, 
That's just a side note. Uh, but we have here the students reading the word. Then with our doctor, I have the verb comprender. It's a little longer, but then we don't have to have two E's next to each other. This is a really good word for you as well because it means to understand. There's, a, uh, uh, there's another ER verb, entender, that also means to understand. That one's a little irregular, so we're going to go with this one for the moment. Comprender, understand, okay? Yo comprendo, usted comprende, él comprende, ella comprende, ustedes comprenden, ellos comprenden. La doctora no comprende al paciente. The doctor doesn't understand the patient. So now let's look at this pattern. Estar, the pattern was O A A N, right? O A N. With the ER verb, yo is still O. So you don't have to change that. O means I. But you can see here, instead of an A, the third person singular and plural both use an E instead. Makes sense, right? AR verb, take off the R, you've got your third person singular. The ER verb, take off the R, you've got your third person singular. And so the pattern is very similar. For example, in the plural, it's E-N. Okay, with the AR, it was A-N. So when you want plural, you are looking for that N. Otherwise, it's just the single vowel in the third person singular. So again, O, E, N. This is my pattern for ER verbs. Before I let you go, let's get a little bit of practice in. Translate this sentence for me. How would you say, I read the word? If you need to pause and go back and, and look at the video before, you can. Yo leo la palabra. Leo la palabra. So the I form is leo, with an O at the end. Okay? How about they don't understand the word? What's the form for they? Ellos no comprenden la palabra. No comprenden la palabra. No la comprenden. Uh, you notice, let me point out real quick here, the no comprenden. Uh, you don't have the do, that, that grammatical do in Spanish. So you don't say I don't, you just say I no understand. It makes life a lot, a lot easier, okay? I no understand, or in this case, they no understand. Ellos no comprenden la palabra. Thank you, as always, for watching, guys. Check out more videos at apexlanguages.com. Have a wonderful, healthy, safe rest of your day.